This is a before shot before I start machining on the uh, cocking slot in this piston. This is just a, a little quick how I get the piston liner out. You take a uh, bronze tipped hammer, just tap on the back of the stem, it'll walk right out, and then you can uh, grab it with a uh, little shot rag and just pull it out. You pinch it together so the ends kind of close up maybe overlap a little bit it'll kind of help release it on the inside of the piston just wiggle it side to side easy peasy all right at first i'm just kind of touching off i'll run it back back and forth by hand just to kind of hit the high spots um, again it's just like uh, when you're milling the slots on a receiver you don't want to Take up any more metal than you have to. So I'm just trying to find the high spots, the little bumps that you're going to feel whenever you're cocking. Uh, sometimes on early guns, I even had tight spots that would actually the cocking shoe would slightly bind in. This is a fairly late model production gun, less than a year old. Anyway, once I find all the high spots here, I'll speed the video up a little bit so I don't bore you in tears. I'm going to try and make this a fairly quick video. Just about do it. Come up here this final shot. It's just a little quick uh, picture of what the cocking slot looks like once all the milling's been done to it. You can see there's still, you know, little low spots. Uh, near as I can tell, this was all done through a punching process, and and it just does that. It just leaves a, little, a couple of rough spots. You know, a lot of the stuff would just break in with use. You know, you'd feel a little noise, and after a few hundred shots, uh, you wouldn't notice anything. But through the tuning process, you're just trying to go ahead and knock off all that and get it done before it goes into service.